What's up guys and welcome back. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to remove the door panel on your Mercedes-Benz W204. And in doing so, show you how to access everything behind the door panel. And also briefly give you a description of how to remove every single component that is behind this door panel. So, let's do it. The first thing you wanna do in order to access this uh, front door panel, roll down your front window so that you have access to the panel of the window frame. And go ahead and grab a T30 Torx screwdriver. That way you can remove these two T30 Torx bolts that are sitting just under the armrest. Okay, there's one, and next one. You'll feel it. If you just, have, if you just run your finger along this lower door handle you will feel where these two holes are in order for you to access these two T30 Torx bolts. From here we need to make sure that we do remove this panel right here. So you just want to get a trim removal tool and pry this part out here and then pry it out like this. And then you have to do the same to this side as well. This is why we need to open up the window in order to remove this window trim piece. So you just need to get under it right here See there? Notice how I'm prying that off? As soon as you pry this off, you can pull it out a bit and it will come out. We don't need to take it off all the way. We just need to remove it enough so that we can get to the most annoying clip piece you've ever seen. There's going to be a capital H looking clip here. This is the uh, push clip right here underneath the window trim right here. This is how I remove it. I use a plier like tool with a really good grip, okay? And it is a H style clip. So you just have to grab it here and then pull this out, okay? There we go. When I first removed this clip, I was having so much trouble. I was prying it like this, from the bottom, from the sides, always. But honestly, the best way that I have found to remove this clip is what I do is I come underneath and you can see that there are these two prongs that slide down a bit I use my, my pick tool and I get underneath and I pull that down like so and then it frees the top one out and then you do the same to the bottom and then you can pull it out like so now I'm going to show you what it looks like so having a look at it, as you can see, there are two tabs, one on the top here and one on the bottom. There's one there and there's another one here. This is what it looks like. As you can see, it is a H style clip. So you have to grab a pair of pliers that has a good grip, like so, and then grab on the edge and pull it out. There are two tabs, one on the top and one on the bottom. And that's what holds it in place. So, in order to remove it, you need to get these two tabs to press in, like so. But that's why I used the pick tool and went in from underneath, because if you look inside, you notice how there's these tabs that come down? That's what holds it in place. So when you push this H-clip back in, this tab right here will go in between the two that are in there, like as you can see, there's these two prongs that come down. This sits in between it. So when you push this in, you'll notice that the tab comes back up. As you can see, the tab comes right up. And that's what locks it in place. And so does the bottom one. So the best way I have found in order to remove this, instead of trying to come in from the top or the bottom, because you cannot reach it, the furthest you will get is about here. So the best way I've found to remove this is by getting your pick tool and notice how the pick tool is sticking out a little bit now and then you push this down and once you have that down you move it out a little bit so that you can just get to the bottom one now and do the same thing you want to get your pick tool and then get underneath it see how the pick tool comes out and then pry it down notice how the pick tool is coming out this is the best way to remove it because once this is clipped in it's very hard in order for you to get beyond this point here in order to get to this part so the best way to do it would be to get a pick tool and then pry it down and then push it out a little bit and same thing for the bottom you get your pick tool and then you pry it down 
it's going to take a little bit of time but you will get there eventually just don't try and get a fork like tool and try to yank it out this way it's not going to come out take it from me I already broke my first clip I had to buy another one to remove it and then when you pull it push it back in notice how that tab right here that tab there that long tab that's what locks it in place and pushes the clip back up as you can see when I push this in it lifts it up so that it locks it back into place make sure you try and remove it this way this has got to be the best way for you to remove it and once you remove this it's really easy to take off the door panel this is the hardest clip to remove I've seen a lot of people have trouble trying to remove this clip so make sure you remember how this clip works try and pry it from inside rather than outside in my honest opinion if you are finding so much trouble with this clip and you really hate trying to remove it and it's giving you that much trouble you probably don't even need to put it back in however if you do want to be perfect and you want to make sure everything is back the way it was then put it back in just remember that when you're trying to remove this clip do not try and force this clip straight out it's not going to come out okay so now that we have removed the two T30 torque screws under here and we have pried off the window trim right there and exposed the door plastic clip right here and now removed it also now we also need to remove the tweeter cover in order to remove it easily what I normally do is I just come up the top here and then pry it out like so and it will just come out and then from here you can just simply remove it okay just be careful not to break any of the clips it's clipped in at three points okay there's one two and three there's one two and three points where it clips in you want to lift it out so after you pry off this point here you want to lift it out this way and then it will come off I'm just going to remove this foam piece here now you don't have to remove it but I like to remove it just so I have more room and look at that that just comes off just in case I scratch anything I'm going to put some microfiber cloth we can now begin to pry off the door from the door clips that hold the door in all along the outside of the door and in order to do this all you need is your trim removal tool and you slowly push it in and pry it out slowly and it will unclip slowly you want to take your time here do not use too much force just enough so that it unclips from the door this is also why it's important to use a plastic trim removal tool like so that way you're not going to scratch anything or rip anything as you pry it out you just put it in between the door and the frame and pry you hear that clip next one down here where the separate where the door is and just keep working your way through there we go that's another one okay and then down the bottom then do the same to the other side you want to make sure you're working your way all around the door so I'll do the bottom now okay there we go now as you could see there all I did was hold on to the bottom and then I pulled it out basically the whole door is ready to come off because we have unclipped all the clips that surround the door on the outside now in order to take off the door it hooks in from the top as well so you need to pull it out and then lift it up and then it will lift off the top now what you have to do is pull it out and then from the side here I find it easier to do it from this side just lift it up and then pull it out like so there we go now that's out and then from here do not pull the door off completely you can remove this trim make sure that the door lock you lift it over the door pin so I'm going to lift it over the door pin and now from here there are going to be wires connected this is where your pick tool is going to come in handy so after we've lifted it off the doorknob we need to remove the door the door latch so you need to pull it out so the cable can slide out and then lift it out of the door handle like that you notice how it's hooked in right here you just have to pull this back here because you notice how it's sitting in this groove right here in order to remove it out you need to pull it back so it's just cable showing and then lift it out like that 
and then you just have to lift it out of this right here the door handle just keep lifting it out and it will come out like so as you can see this part just simply sits in here so you just have to pull the cable back and then lift it out and that frees that up and then all we have left are two cables you have two cables that are connected to the door okay and now all you have to do in order to be able to remove the door completely is remove these other two plugs and then the door will come completely off so in order to remove it you notice this tab here all you have to do is press on that tab and pull it out I'm just doing it with one hand at the moment so you guys can see so that's one plug out same thing to the blue one just press on the tab and pull it out two okay that's the door off also make sure that you have all your door clips okay guys so now that we have removed the door panel as you can see from here you can get to different components behind the door panel from you know your your door cable which allows you to lock and unlock the door if you need to service that or if you need to service anything behind the door panel for that matter you also have your the motor for your power windows you have your speakers if you wanted to change out your speakers for whatever reason however if you were going to service this speaker you would have to drill out three rivets there's one two and there's one more here at the bottom you'd have to drill them out and of and obviously change the speaker wires and buy the the appropriate cable that plugs straight in also you have your module for your your door so this module seems like it controls your power windows as well as your speakers and also the motor and a sensor down here i believe that is a sensor i'm not too sure but it does look like a sensor and that's basically it that's how you remove the door panel on a mercedes-benz w204 even from here you can also remove your door latch as you can see there's a probably a t30 torque screw right here if you remove that i'm pretty sure this door latch is going to come off also i wanted to show you another thing so from here you can even access your trim now I'm going to show you guys how to put the door back so that you don't screw anything up. Okay guys, so this is the, the rear of your door panel. Now from here, you can access quite a few things. Now I just wanted to show you in case you ever decide to do something. Firstly, make sure that you have all nine clips. There's three down the side here, there's three down the bottom, and there's also three along the side. If they are not in there, make sure you didn't drop them or make sure they're not still in the door and if they are remove them and put them back in the appropriate slots they just simply slide in like this also from here as you can see this is your welcome door light there's the cable for it it runs along the bottom and then runs up here it shares the power source for your boot release and then the main power comes up runs along here and from here it splits into three different panels one is for your lock and unlock as well as your orange LED light that lights up your door handle and that's it right here and you have to disconnect this plug in order to remove it and as you can see if you look carefully there are clips here there's a clip there and another clip there now I'm not going to remove it I just wanted to show you where it is and if you wanted to remove your lock and unlock uh, mechanism or module you just have to unplug this plug push on this tab and then unplug it and then there are two torque screws there's one here and there's another one just behind this plug as you can see right there you just have to undo those and I'm pretty sure that will come straight out as for your trim this is the plug for your memory seats as well as your seat adjustment so if you wanted to remove it you have to undo this plug just push on that tab and pull it out and then there is a 10 mil aluminium bolt there now I just wanted to warn you that these bolts are very very light aluminium so you do not want to over tighten them and just make sure you tighten them just enough so they sit on top they're not your usual bolts that you can over tighten or tighten really tight because they will break and they will deform all you have to do is undo it 
until it comes off and then you can reuse them I've heard some people say that you cannot reuse these but you actually can let me show you so for instance we have one here for the for your door trim okay I'm going to undo it right now it just takes three turns in order to take it off and as you can see it just comes off and there is the the bolt right here as you can see it is not your regular bolt however it is what you use in order to re-secure it back on so in order to replace it you just have to make sure you line up the tri the, the three triangular tabs you can see here and then you just screw it back on like so until it stops do not over tighten them they will break okay so if you wanted to remove your door trim you just have to remove one two three four of these light aluminium bolts and then your door trim will simply push out and you can remove it and wrap it in carbon fiber or whatever you choose to do same goes for your trim that surrounds the buttons for your memory seats as well as your seat adjustment you just have to remove this here unplug this cable and then push it out and it will actually come straight out also another thing you can service from here is your window switch panel as you can see here in order to remove it you have to unplug this plug right here and then you're going to see two torx screws one there and one here you have to undo those and then there is a clip up the top here i can see and there are also two more torx screws at the bottom right here as you can see there's one there and there's another one right there so you have to undo these two torx screws in order for you to release it from the bottom and then also undo these two torx screws as well and then that will come out it's clipped in from here so make sure you undo this clip as well right there as you can see in the middle that's how you would remove the window switch panel and that's basically everything guys that's basically everything you can access on the back of your door panel for your mercedes benz so now let's put this door panel back on now we have the door panel up against the door so the first thing we need to do is reattach the door latch so we put this hook back into this hole like so make sure you press it down and then we use the leverage point in order to pull this cable through allowing there to be some allowing there to be tension so we can fit this cable in the appropriate slot again just like that as you can see the cable has to sit in here and the reason why you pull it back is so the cable can go through the slot like that and refit now all we need to do is reattach our cables right here and we plug them back into the appropriate slots now you just have to follow the color coordination so blue is on the right like so just plug it in and red is on the left and we just push it in and it clips back into place there we go now all we need to worry about is making sure that we lift the door over the lock so that it can sit over the top so let's go ahead and do that make sure you double check that your door latch is on as well as your your plugs are plugged back into the uh, appropriate slots okay now we lift this over there we go it's over it now make sure your speaker is also over here because we need to line it up what you have to do is lift it so that it sits over the ledge at the top because you have a lever at the top here that needs to sit correctly okay so when fitting the door you need to make sure that this is how the door looks at the top you notice the gap there see how big this gap is here that is incorrect you need to make sure it sits as close to this point as possible so we need to pull this in more when I take this door off, you notice this bar along the along here? This rubber piece here has to sit in this groove here. So make sure the, the lock pin goes underneath and over it. And then what you need to do is come in almost diagonal so that you can push it in and get it in flush. There we go. Now, you notice how close, it's, close it is now? Look at that. Look at that gap now. It is completely right at the end of it so we need to just make sure we line it up correctly now that we have this part 
flush we can proceed to clip the door back once you line up the top as you can see it will actually hold it in place now we have to make sure all the clips are in place and we can just push it so it clips back in it was one two three four five six seven eight nine okay there we go that door is clipped back into place now we need to reinstall that trim panel that we removed which is this piece here now the most important thing to remember with this is this part here must sit over to reinstall this trim piece you see these two holes here there's one there and there's one there that's exactly what these two clips here clip into so you just line it up and then you just push it in and it will clip into place there we go there's one two there we go and then make sure that it sits in the rubber lining all along here you can just use your hand or you can use a trim removal tool and get it to sit in the rubber lining like that see notice how it's flush now all along here so you got to keep continuing along until it all sits back into place now another thing is that on this side here you need to make sure that this here sits on the outside and make sure that you do not put it in like that you have to make sure that this comes out on the outside like here like this I'll show you you have to make sure that this part here comes out and sits in like that and then you can continue to reinstall it now that we have two clips in and we know that this part is sitting in the right position we can now push it in and it will clip back into place there we go just make sure it sits in it like that there we go you just have to keep pressing it in and it will sit back in there we go now before you completely push it back in we need to replace the clip here push this one in first and then we then we proceed to push the H clip after make sure it's lined up appropriately just push that in and then remember that the bar on here has to sit in between the two prongs that you see inside this plastic clip there we go and then just push it in there we go now that the clips in we can proceed to replace this trim make sure that it's flush along here so you lift out the rubber and push the trim in just like this there we go that's how you replace that piece we need to replace the foam piece that sat in there so very simple just slide it in and then push it back into place now we can simply put our tweeter back in place now what we need to do here is to ensure that this line here sits in the groove here you notice that groove there the line has to sit in it so we need to pull it out push it all the way in and then there it is there that's the groove we need and push it in there we go and then clip it in on the side and that's it that's how you need it to sit in order for it to sit correctly and then this has to clip all along here perfect and that's how you replace the door trim on your mercedes-benz w204 now we just need to check that everything works we'll grab our key put it in the ignition turn it to ignition on and very good our logo is working our LED light works and our controls work look at that perfect perfect guys all done I hope that helps you out guys I hope that helps you remove your door panel on your W204 and service anything you need to behind the door panel there you go guys how to remove the door panel on your Mercedes-Benz W204 and in doing so how to access all the different components behind the door panel itself from the LED light to the door handle and even the trims in order to remove it or 
wrap it in carbon fiber and even the different buttons from the chair adjustment to the lock and unlock all that good stuff if you like this video guys don't forget to like share and subscribe for more content just like this another thing before i go i just wanted to say that don't forget that at 500 subscribers i'll be doing a mystery giveaway of either cash or a mystery prize so make sure you subscribe and stay subscribed in order to enter that's all you have to do thank you very much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video